Through my study of history, I've come to realize what makes a country or a nation the most innovative and dynamic. I believe there have to be some troubles for it to contend with. If a country or nation doesn't have any troubles for a long time, it'll lose vitality. However, if there are always a few troubles, it'll be forced to find ways to deal with the troubles, which requires a kind of action-oriented spirit. Take Jews for example. They are always facing troubles and crises in their surroundings, which pushes them to think and struggle constantly. Similarly, Japan is often hit by earthquakes, which requires the Japanese to always be prepared for natural disasters. When our Chinese nation was developing, floods were frequent. Have you heard of Dai Yu controlling the floods back then? There were always floods and troubles, but our Chinese nation could not be beaten down. I have read a global history written by Stavrianos two or three times. It is a thick two-volume book that talks about this issue, saying that a persistent problem exists, but it has not completely defeated the nation. Such a nation is the most dynamic. Mencius also said similar words. When heaven is about to place a great responsibility on a person's shoulders, it'll exercise his mind with suffering, exhaust his muscles and bones with hard work, starve his body, and drain away his energy. That is to say, a person who desires to achieve something great must go through numerous trials and tribulations. Otherwise, it'll be very hard to succeed. These trials and tribulations are instrumental in developing his wisdom and strength. Only those who can make it in the face of numerous difficulties and troubles have vitality. Join Civil Human Action Organization and devote ourselves to the mighty torrent of saving human beings.